Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your May reading. What's going on? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer. Hope you guys are all doing well. If this one does resonate, as always, the link to the extended reading will be below in the description box. If not, check out your rising sign, maybe your moon sign. All right, Cancer, May, one more shuffle and we will get to it. Hope you guys are all amazing. All right, let's see what's up. Sometimes I say bad words. I just can't help myself. If that's gonna offend you, Cancer, you know your card is the water Uber, and you can get in that water Uber and take a hard left. I'm just kidding, I hope you stay. All right, what happened in the recent past? The Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, what's going on right now? What's the current energy, Cancer? You've got the Eight of Wands. All right, here, let's give us a little more light. I feel like we need more light. A uh, person you're thinking about or connecting with, what's on their mind, Cancer? What's going through their thoughts? Oh, the King of Pentacles. What do they think of you throughout May? The Two of Swords. Ooh, they think you're ignoring them, Cancer. Or maybe you're blocked and making some sort of decision. How do they feel about you? The Queen of Swords, more Libra energy. Two cards of Libra. How do they want to move forward? The King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. So if you're apart from someone, you're on a break, you broke up. Somebody sleeping on the couch. This is how they would feel about moving forward. All right. If you're already partnered, this is how they see the energy of the two of you in the relationship moving forward. It's interesting. This King of Wands is looking right at this Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords says, come hither. I got something to say. And you may not like it, but it's going to be truthful. What's hidden that you don't see? Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that, that mf -er, The Seven of Swords. All right. What's your advice from Spirit? The Eight of Pentacles. What's the outcome here in May, Cancer? You've got the Eight of Swords. All right, so a lot of stuck, kind of blocked energy here. <clears throat> I don't know. We're going to clarify. I kind of feel like it would be more on your side, but we'll find out. I'm curious. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Cups. Yeah, see, somebody's threatening to walk away or they have walked away. That's the overall energy coming in to this bad bitch of a reading, Cancer. That is your water energy with those cups. So again, like an emotional connection, but somebody doesn't fulfill feel, that's hard to say, to feel, feel fully connected. You know what I'm saying? That Eight of Cups is like, listen, there's emotion, but there's something missing. And I may need to go find those two additional cups. So let's take a look. All right, Cancer, y'all please like, share, and subscribe for me. Hit that notification bell so you receive notifications. And you got to hit it to all notifications. I promise you do or you probably won't get any notifications. I've had people be like, hey, where you been? Oh, I've been here, you just haven't been notified. So yeah, there's that. All right, Cancer, let's see what is coming in. What does May look like for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Also too, I went ahead and turned on the YouTube membership. That just includes um, some pick a card readings every week. I'll do a monthly live chat for members only and uh, you have access to all the uploads early. So those are just some of the perks. Check it out and join. I would love to see y'all there. I'm excited for the live chat, so that'll be fun. And that'll just be whatever y'all wanna chat about. We can talk about tarot, we can talk about my dog, we can talk about tequila. It's whatever y'all wanna talk about. All right, let's get to it. In the past, you guys experienced a Knight of Swords. What's this? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Justice. Ooh, major for Libra. All right, let's look at that again. What's this Knight of Swords with Justice and the Ten of Wands? Heavy load. I feel like somebody had a lot of pressure. There could have been a lot going on. But there was some sort of, uh, with that Knight of Swords, it makes me feel as though there was some sort of drama or some sort of argument. Somebody may have said some things hastily. That, that energy is very fast, quick, impulsive. He's got something to say, something to do. And with Justice, there is a decision here because somebody felt overburdened. I just feel like there was some sort of disagreement or chaos or argument or something like that. And with justice, it could have been with a Libran, but also with justice, again, that's making a decision. There was a decision that was made due to some sort of kind of chaos and again, some sort of burden. Right now, the current energy be between the two of you is this Eight of Wands. What's this about? And the Seven of Wands. What else do we got with the Seven of Wands? And the Ten of Cups in reverse. Again, kind of this blocking energy. And with that Eight of Wands, again, that is communication. It's change, though, with the Eight. 
and it can be released. There could have been some sort of communication, again, due to maybe some aggressive communication in the past or, or arguments or drama, something like that. And so now I feel through communication, if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. Somebody's just standing their ground with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is I'm protecting myself. I'm a little bit guarded, but it's kind of strong energy. It's like back off, right? Because I'm, I'm right. I know about this. Like this is my stance. And with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it's causing somebody some ha unhappiness here. Feeling drained. I just don't feel like it's you. Uh, let's take a look though at this Eight of Cups. What is this? Overall energy and the Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Why is this here? And the Four of Wands. See, again, I feel like I, it could be either one of you, but somebody's turning their back on this connection and the other person wants a new beginning and some sort of you know happiness and celebration, stability, commitment, new beginning within the home, within the relationship, something like that. One of y'all wants this and the other person's pissed is what this looks like. Now, on your person's mind is Daddy with a Pentacle. That's the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's this King of Pentacles? And the Seven of Swords. Ooh. Damn, that's showing up twice. What's the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords? What is this? And the Three of Wands. Yeah, I know we've got that three there. Nobody, nobody freak out. You know, I feel, I do feel though, because this is what's on their mind. The King of Pentacles is loyalty and achievement and stability in a relationship and a marriage. He's a provider, you know, and he wants to, he's very slow, very, you know, cautious, but he's a king, he's mature and he is successful. And you, he, you know, you can depend on him when it comes to love, a relationship. With that Seven of Swords, though, I don't think they're telling you this right now. I think they're just waiting. Somebody here is buying their time. Is it biting? Yeah, it's biting their time, right? Not buying. Yeah, Jen, get it together. Uh, yeah, and with the Three of Wands, again, they've already, they know the direction they want with you. But somebody was super aggressive here. This reminds me very much of the Scorpio reading. Y'all check that out, especially if you have Scorpio in your chart or you're connecting with a Scorpio. But this person is just waiting for something now. And I think it's because with that Seven of Swords, they're hiding. What are they hiding? Well, I feel like they still want something long-term and stable with you. Now, it could have been that they were hiding their feelings in the past. I'm not getting heavy, like cheating, you know, stealing Pop-Tarts from the cupboard. Like, I'm not getting that kind of thing. I'm getting they were more avoiding, hiding, not opening up. And they're not going to for a little while here because this is what's on their mind currently. They're just waiting. How do they view you, Cancer? The Two of Swords. Why? What is it? What do we got? Ooh, damn, the tower. Yeah, see? Doesn't mean it's true. It's just in the position of how they view you. That Two of Swords with the tower. Scorpio energy. Told you I felt Scorpio in there. And the sun in reverse. Yeah. This person views you as being real unhappy. Probably blocking them out. If you haven't blocked them through communication, you're kind of blocking energy. Like, you're blocking your heart chakra with that Two of Swords. You know there's a decision to be made here, and you you may even feel a little bit indecisive, but it's really being in two minds. And I feel in this reading, it's more they view you as blocking them. And with that tower, there was a huge blow up, an argument, or you just flat out broke up with them. I mean, it, you know, with the sun in reverse, again, they view you as just not being happy right now. Something went down. And so what are they feeling? Emotionally, they're feeling the Queen of Swords. They're trying to not be overly emotional about this. What's this Queen of Swords? And the Hermit. Major Conifer Virgo. Yeah, Queen of Swords with the Hermit. Why is this in this person's emotions? This is how they feel about Cancer. Why? We all want to know why. Ace of Cups, they love you though. They're giving you space. Queen of Swords, when you feel the Queen of Swords for someone, you're, you know, again, they're like, okay, I need to be honest with my own emotions. I need to not be overly emotional. I'm going to give Cancer their space because I just feel like Cancer is the one that's a little bit hot headed here right now. You're pissed about something and they know it. They want a new beginning, but they're not going to tell you. This is very much space of let's let, you know, Cancer cool down. I feel like Cancer's been mad. Ooh. They want to speak their truth to you. They do. They want to state their case. And I do believe whatever they would state would be truthful. 
but again, emotionally, they're kind of like, oh, I need to kind of go away a little bit. I need to seclude. I need to kind of gather some evidence and figure out what I'm going to do. But until I know how to handle cancer in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and pull with them because I love cancer. Ace of Cups, they do. They have an emotional connection to you. We saw it with the overall energy here. How do they plan on moving forward throughout May? So if you're apart, how do they feel about reconciling? If you're with them, and this is just like a, a blow up or a disagreement, King of Wands and the Six of Wands, a lot of Leo energy there. What's this King of Wands with the Six of Wands? What's this King of Wands, Six of Wands? And the Page of Swords. They're keeping an eye on you because they still want success with you. They still feel the passion. You've got the King of Wands with the Six of Wands. So how do they plan on moving forward? They're going to take action at some point because that King of Wands will never sit still. He goes for what he wants. And that Six of Wands is all about getting your attention. This is very kind of um, like, I feel like this person's like strategizing almost because with this Page of Swords, this is like about watching, waiting, planning. And in this deck, look, he's waiting, but he's curious, right? With the Page of Swords. So this is coming up with a plan, maybe to kind of keeping an eye on you, seeing what you're up to, something like that. But that Page of Swords is very curious and they're going to be kind of quiet for a little while and let you cool off. That's what it feels like. They will eventually take action. They're not going to just sit back because I do feel a lot of emotion from them. What's going on behind the scenes, Cancer, that you don't see is the Seven of Swords. Why? And the Ace of Pentacles. Again, remember what we said earlier. Seven of Swords is not always, you know, the F boy or the thirsty bitch that has really screwed someone over in some way. Stole, cheated, lied, tried to get away with something. You know, stole the last bottle of tequila. I don't know. It, he can be that energy, but he's also strategizing and he's doing it without telling anyone how he's strategizing. And it's for some sort of new beginning with that Ace of Pentacles. So that's what's going on behind the scenes. And that's why you're going to feel like this person is so quiet. And you may not really even hear from them very much, Cancer. But it's not because they've disappeared. I'm telling you. Why is the Seven of Swords here with this Eight of Pentacles? What is this? And the Devil. Yeah, see, they're stuck to you like white to rice. And if you are together, maybe you live together, maybe you see each other every day, this kind of thing, you're going to find that this person is a little bit meek. They're going to be real quiet. They're going to, they're almost walking on eggshells, but they've got a plan in place here. What is this devil? Capricorn. What is this? And the five of wands. Yeah, there's some toxic shit. There was a toxic fight or there's some, so, there was some sort of toxicity within your relationship. And I think cancer just kind of had enough. Like you feel real pissed. Your energy does to me. Very upset. That devil with the five of wands, again, arguing over something that's toxic within the relationship. But I still think this person is secretly planning some sort of stability. They still value the relationship. So it's going to be up to y'all. Why is the advice the ace, eight of pentacles? There you are. The good old water uber. It's the chariot sign of cancer. I knew you'd show up. Why the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is this the advice for cancer and the situation here uh, throughout May? What is it? And what is it now? It's the moon. That can't be your card. I typically read it as Pisces or Cancerian energy. Mm, cancer, what is spirit trying to tell you? I feel like that moon is definitely your intuition, which we know. I mean, Cancerians are just naturally intuitive. But with the Eight of Pentacles, I still feel like there's some sort of effort. And remember, with the Eight of Pentacles, it doesn't mean you necessarily see or feel the effort somebody's putting into you. If they're just thinking about you, they're putting that energy. That's effort. That's work, right? With the Chariot, there's some sort of um, success here, here still, if you want. But with that Moon, again, it's kind of going on behind the scenes, it's almost like this person's manifesting you and at some point then they go in for the the kill what do we got the emperor in reverse aries energy yeah there's something that's beyond your control here too especially on that moon because the moon is kind of things that are going on behind the scenes that you don't know it's the hidden right it's the mystery of it all um what's this emperor in reverse 
what is this? Yeah, see, there's the Ace of Swords. There's that communication. I think for a lot of you, it'll be towards the end of May going into June. There's going to be like a sit down. Somebody finally is going to break the silence and speak their truth about something here. It'll be honest when it comes through. Maybe it wasn't honest here, but Spirit's telling you, go work for a while. Eight of Pentacles, Cancer, you know, be in your element. Make sure that things aren't out of control because that chariot's in the upright. It's very fast energy. And just move on here for a little bit. Let this thing die down, whatever's happened here. The outcome for May is the Eight of Swords. Why? What's this Eight of Swords? And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of anxiety. A lot of energy of just going around and around in your head. It could be you or them. But with that Two of Pentacles in reverse, this is just like too much. So you drop it. You know, for the month of May, you're going to drop one of those pentacles. What's this two of pentacles and the three of cups? But I told you, it won't be for long. You know, everybody has to keep in mind when you watch a tarot reading, it's not necessarily 60 years from now. We're talking about May. Every Everybody's timetable is a little bit different. But I do feel like for the majority of you throughout May, this is you just cooling off, throwing yourself into work, your person doing some shit behind the scenes, but being very quiet about it because they just don't want to piss you off anymore. I don't know what happened. Something happened with that Knight of Swords. And I think what you're going to find is going into June, there'll be some sort of communications definitely coming that's going to kind of clear the air. Now, whether you decide to take them back or not, I mean, I'm not a therapist. I'm just reading the energy. That's up to y'all. But I do see communication and some sort of reconciling differences here. What's this Knight of Swords in the past? Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, something really pissed off Cancer. For some of you, it's the other person. But again, I said it from the very beginning. I feel like whatever went down, this Queen of Swords in reverse will tell you to F off, your dog to F off, your mom, everybody. She didn't care. She is pissed, right? And she's so pissed, sometimes she can't even speak clearly. You know, she, she does not mince words. So especially on that Knight of Swords, I figured it was something. And with the swords, it could definitely have been words that were spewed. Now in the extended reading, we'll look more into this person, Cancer, see how they really feel about you outside of this energy. So like what's going on in their everyday life? What can you expect from them leaving May? And how will this kind of, you know, rectifying something here, how will that turn out? But it's going to be a month of you guys both kind of just being in your head for a little while. All right, Cancer, I will see you on the extended. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.